This is the Octosonar 2.0. Uh, it uh, allows you con to connect uh, eight HC SRO4 ultrasonic sensors to your uh, microcontrollers such as your Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Uh, it differs somewhat from the earlier version of the uh, Octosonar, the version one. So different software, different connectivity, don't mix them up. Uh, this uh, operates differently in that, uh, well the way, the way it works is uh, we send the echo signals out through the I2C bus, so we save a lot of pins on our Arduino, um, and uh, it then uh, drops the trigger signal into the uh, requisite uh, sensor, whichever one is, is up next. Um, and <coughs> rather than just uh, doing a 10 microsecond pulse, which is what they, they say, or yeah, microseconds, uh, it's actually the falling edge uh, that triggers the, the uh, sensor. So what we do is we keep that pulse down uh, for the duration, which is by default 50 milliseconds. And that also triggers one of the gates in one of these uh, tri-state buffer chips. Uh, which essentially uh, connects the echo of the same sensor to the interrupt pin over here uh, so that we have no interference between the sensors. Uh, with a version 1 board uh, you could get interference between the sensors and some of the sensors were rather badly behaved because uh, China. So uh, this board so far works uh, successfully with both the good, bad and intermediate uh, sensors that I've been able to test and even the you know the okay ones uh, if they don't get an echo back they'll hold up the echo signal for 200 milliseconds and uh, we got around that on the old board by just waiting until the pin dropped uh, but with the really bad uh, sensors they never drop that pin uh, until they get another cycle so here uh, we actually just uh, cut them off, uh, ignore them, and go on to the next one. There's no interference between the uh, sensor echoes. And uh, we can go around them uh, at 50 millisecond intervals regardless of how long the echo comes back. And the good news is on the bad sensors, certainly the ones I've tried, uh, the uh, they actually will come back to life when they get a good echo uh, with this board. So that's good news if you've got the, the dodgy sensors. It, they, they work just as well on this board in my experience. So we have our eight uh, ports around um, which are still numbered. We've now got four on each side. We used to have three, three, one and one. Um, and they go around in anti-clockwise order. So you've got your zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll notice they're all the same way around this time on the old board. They were flipped. Uh, they went the, essentially. They were all facing out the way here. They are all aligned in the same direction. So, watch your wiring. Uh, we've got our uh, I2C entry here using the Grove ordering. Uh, we have places here for the uh, I2C pull-up resistors if you wish to put them on the device. Sometimes you have to mess around with those to get your I2C uh, running reliably, particularly at long distances. Over here we have our interrupt output and you'll notice there's a 5 volts input here. This is separate from the VCC input and that's uh, so that we can run on a 3.3 volt controller. If your uh, controller is a 5 volt device like for instance a standard Arduino Uno, you can save yourself a wire and you can connect, let's turn this the right way up, you can connect uh, V1 here, this jumper and that will actually connect those two pins, the 5 volt and the VCC together on the back. If you ever do that, never plug this into a 3.3 volt uh, controller. You will let the magic smoke come out. The address jumpers here are now on the back uh, for easy, well, they fit there, easy access, worked better, made it more compact. Um, <coughs> we also have a resistor array in here so we do have a default address of uh, 38. And that's the layout of the board of the Octosonar version 2.1.
This is the Octosonar 2.0 mounted on a robot with uh, eight HCSR04 sensors. And I have the uh, demonstration test uh, sketch loaded up here just to show the eight sensors on a 2004 display. Uh, zero is front left and uh, the numbers proceed around in a circle until you have front right is seven. So the two front sensors you'll see here are running at 143, 151. We have a nice flat board uh, over here to bounce things against. And uh, you can see as we angle the robot, we get a different value in the use uh, here. So you can see that the front left is closer in the front right so we know we're we're close we're at an angle to that wall and the same thing applies for the sides you can see we have 223 237 um, and if we angle this way you'll see that uh, this one drops to 200 this one's at 253 so with that you can calculate while stationary your angle to the wall uh, on all four sides and that's why I wanted uh, eight sensors on my robot but it's connected here through the uh, I2C uh, and I've got other communications going on in I2C here as well. I have the display, I also have the motor controller which is another Arduino underneath and I'll be adding other sensors as well. So you can do multiple things with I2C. Um, <clears throat> and then we have this one interrupt pin which carries the timing signals back because I2C isn't accurate enough for the timing that you need for this application.